I don't deal with rules well or, or standard ways of doing things. Uh, and I've never been great at dealing with authority of people telling me that you can't do that because of something or you can't do this because of something. The speaker is John Warnock, the founder of Adobe, the second largest software company in the world. Every time you print something from a computer, or view anything on the World Wide Web, or adjust a photograph, you couldn't do it without the technologies created and developed by John Warnock and Adobe. John Warnock doesn't see this success as based on his engineering skills, but on his appreciation for what artists and authors and publishers and photographers and filmmakers need in order to create. He believes that it was his passion for books and the printed word that gave him this sensibility. Books are printed the way they are because there's sort of 500 years of history telling you how to do this, of learning what is good design, what is bad design, what works, what doesn't work. Computer people sometimes just ignore those things, that 500 years of history. And we tried at Adobe to strive not to ignore that stuff. Warnock first created PostScript, a breakthrough so profound that there hadn't been a similar one in printing since Gutenberg invented type. It had been a holy grail in computer science to figure out how to communicate documents. After PostScript, Jonathan Siebold wrote to Warnock, you've turned publishing on its head. He was correct. Before PostScript, there were about 250,000 graphic artists. Now there are at least 25 million. John Warnock committed his life's work to building tools that allowed people to express themselves. For Warnock, communicating meaningfully didn't just come from what the words on a page said, but how they looked. Some colleagues called Warnock a perfectionist, but he saw it differently. I would not say I'm a perfectionist. What I would say is that you try to put taste into the things that you, that you do, and it's so easy to write software that just exhibits bad taste. <laughs> Adobe is an amazing success story, but times have not always been easy. The company has had to consistently beat back attacks by Microsoft. On center stage at a Seabold trade show, Microsoft announced that it would destroy Adobe. What I told the company afterwards, I, I said, you know, the only defense we have here is to out-invent the bastards. And uh, so we did. Today, Adobe products, led by Acrobat, are at the epicenter of the publishing World Wide Web and communications universe. This success gave John Warnock the chance to live his dream. The, the company and the people associated with the company really did change the world of printing and publishing. There, there really was a quantum shift in the way things were done that had effect on the way media is produced in almost all ways. From my perspective, I would have never have hoped to have accomplished anything that good. <laughs>